While you were busy signing up to verify your Twitter account, you probably missed neuroscientists mapping the human brain, a homeless robot in France, and goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we bring you yesterday's news faster than a speeding wiener dog. Finn and Cadiz, and Finn wanted to strike getting bit in the tail. In Nantes, France, Maker Faire attendees were introduced to Dirk, the homeless robot or Robo, according to creator Fred Abels. Dirk's basically a giant marionette. He's remotely operated by Abels, who uses two joysticks to make the bot nod, walk, and ask for spare change. Onlookers who give Dirk donations are treated with a tune from his hundred-year-old organ. While most bystanders figure out Dirk's true identity within the first few moments, the robot is lifelike enough that it was once arrested in a German shopping center. Hey, we've all been there, right? Neuroscientists have been mapping the human brain for over a hundred years, but a new study from Oxford University has just produced the most accurate and detailed map to date. They scanned the brains of more than 400 volunteers using custom-built software to map the cortex, the outermost layer of gray matter. The Oxford team looked at multiple characteristics like cell type, electrical activity levels, and regional connections, and found that cortex contains at least 180 distinct areas. 97 of those were previously unknown. With it, researchers hope to gain a far more nuanced understanding of how the brain's various bits and pieces work together. It might even mean neuroscientists can finally figure out what the brain's borders and territories really look like. And finally, YouTuber Kevin Kohler created a giant vortex cannon because nothing says I love you like building someone a giant ring of fire. One, two, three.